What is going on, guys and girls? My name is James Orthanxi, and welcome back today to something very, very different. Today, we are going to be checking out a new game on the channel, and this game is called Bear With Me. Yes, there is a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> so I just had to check this out. I absolutely love the name of it and it looks so so cool This is an episodic noir adventure game where Amber Which is this little girl here is trying to find her missing brother being aided by her trusty Teddy It is literally called Ted E. Bear. So the style of this game looks amazing It's something really different for the channel, but I did want to check it out and just see what it was like I'm completely new to this are you ready to go on a little adventure with me? I'm kind of excited. All right, okay, okay. So three, two, one, new game. Okay, that sounds good. Oh, I'm going inside. What is happening? This is exciting. Okay, Exordium Games presents. Ooh, bear with me. To be honest, I clicked on this mainly because the title was amazing. <laughs> but I just thought, you know what? Ooh, it's going red. Nice. All right, so I think this is going to set the scene so we can get a picture as to what's happening here. Very, very creepy looking. Whoa. Okay. Very, very cool. Ooh. Ooh, piano. Miss, wake up. Please wake up. Oh, it did some talking for me and then it stopped. What? <laughs> here we go. Okay, okay. So this is us. This is Amber. There's a weird giraffe woman in my room. Hello, who are you? Can we talk to her? So we can talk to the woman. Is there voice acting, though? That's the question. Hello? It seems you had a nightmare. Oh, it does! Okay, so I get to choose the response. So this is kind of not dissimilar to, like, Minecraft Story Mode in that we can choose our responses. So I don't really remember. There was this fire. Yeah, but I can handle nightmares. There was a fire. There was this fire, and black smoke was coming from the windows. Funny thing is, it didn't feel scary to me. Like I wasn't really there. Was it Paper City? No, I don't think so. What are you doing here, Millie? Are you all right? Oh no, miss. Something terrible is happening down in Paper City. I came here as soon as I could. I wanted to warn you and your brother not to go there, but when we arrived, I could only find you. What do you mean? Miss, I'm afraid your brother is missing. I have to go find Flint. Millie, you stay here and rest. I'll come and check up on you later. Please, before you go around looking for your brother, miss, go and find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. He's retired now, but he was always so fond of you. I'm sure he'll help you out. He may not be an easygoing man, but he has a kind heart. Ted, I know where he is. He has a small office in my closet, but Ted and I... We can't work together anymore. Mostly because I'm still smart and driven and he's become a burnout. I haven't seen him since he left the city. But whatever falling out you two had, I beg you to reconcile. Okay. Oh my goodness. What kind of bear is this? <laughs> he's called Mr. Bear. He has an office and he lives in my closet. I love this game. All right, okay. So I think I can find my brother on my own. Okay, Millie, I'll go ask him. Why would I not okay, ask the bear? Okay, Millie, I'll go ask him. But I'm not sure if he'll even hear me out. We left off on a really bad note. It's a shame you two aren't working together anymore. You were always such good friends. But for your sake, miss, please don't go wandering around alone. There is something else I haven't told you about. Okay. The reason I came all the way down here. There is this man that came down to Paper City a week ago. He's asking a lot of questions about you. What man? We call him the Red Man. There were a lot of fires down in the city this past week. Ever since he showed up. The officials are burying their heads in the sand while this man has an entire city. Your city, miss, cowering in fear. Well, Paper City Police Department isn't known for its heroic head-on approach to crime fighting. The mayor and the commissioner have issued a city-wide lockdown until all of this is sorted out. A lot of people are escaping the city. We managed to escape through the East Tunnel's maintenance route, but most of the exits are closed off now. You said we escaped. Is someone else here with you? 
The mugshot boys helped me through the East Tunnel. Bless their hearts. We arrived at Flint's room, but he wasn't there, so I came here to wake you up. I have to go now, Millie. I'll be back as soon as I can to come check on you. Do you need anything? I'm fine, little miss. I just need to rest, is all. Please, before you go out, find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. All right, okay, I'll go and find Mr. Bear. Millie, the weird giraffe woman that sits in the corner of my room, is insisting on that fact. We can actually look inside my chest. things. It's the best. No, oh, it rhymes. Oh, I've forgotten. How, what rhymes with rhymes? Times. Yes, it rhymes. Let's check the times. <laughs> it's not working, but that's okay. I can't tell the time anyways. Great. So I'm going to go on an adventure and I can't even, like, tell the time. Interesting. All right, so we're going to go and get Mr. Bear out of the cupboard in just a second. <laughs> but ooh, Oh, what that's I right. I remember playing with this a couple of days ago. It fell on the floor and the lens broke. I'll take the magnifier with me, but I better repair it before I return it to Ted. Okay, cool. So we've got, like, so many things here that we can look at. It's all about the birds and the bees, and how the birds like to eat the bees and other insects. Interesting. Okay, okay. So this is awesome. We've got, like, all of these things. It's fully voice acted, so there may be, like, pauses of silence and stuff, but that's just because, like, I'm kind of already just into the my story. stuff. I still haven't unpacked properly. Okay, 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 okay. So what's in this plant pot? Can we steal the plant? Can we take the plant? Can Folium we plant the plant? Cadent. When was the last time I watered this? Oh, that's right. I didn't. It's really hanging in there. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's. Do you know what, Mr. Bear? Come, come here, buddy. Where is Mr. Bear? Out of interest. Um. Oh. 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 oh what am I doing? What am I doing? I want to go to the closet. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the closet. Let's get Mr. Bear. I'm, I'm intrigued. Who is Mr. Bear? He's the enigma. Hello, Mr. Bear. Oh snap! This is epic. Amber Ashworth. If I had a nickel for every time this broad got me into trouble, I'd be neck deep in nickels right now. Something was different this time. I could feel it in the air. Someone really put the scares on her. Despite her fragile appearance, Amber's a tough kid, so it was unusual to see her like this. Oh my goodness. Mr. Bear! She starts talking, and I start pretending I don't care. I told her I'm retired, for good this time. Are you serious? <laughs> this is Fell epic. on deaf ears again. Anyway, she starts talking about Millie, Paper City, her brother, and all that jazz. And I'm wondering how many times we've gone through this before. You see, we have this routine where she asks me for help, as she always does. And I play hard to get, as I always do. Eventually, I give in. We've done this so many times, I've lost count. She knows the drill, and so do I. Might as well just hear her out. Her words ring through my office. They get stuck in this haze around my head. And then... They get lost in the cold autumn rain outside, tapping on my window in this hypnotic manner. It's calming in a way. Or is it the booze that makes me calm? Mr. Bear's a badass! Are you kidding? <laughs> Not much to do when you're retired, and hobbies were never my cup of tea. I know her standing in my doorway with her lady in distress shtick means bad news for me, and yet I know I'm in for it again. The sun is slowly setting and the rain gets heavy. The news said there will be a storm tonight. Whoa, that was so cool. Hi, Ted. I heard you've retired, but- Cut the ceremony, doll. I ain't doing it. Doing what? Whatever little plan you've schemed up this time to ruin my life. Your bad news, doll, always were. Do me a solid this time and leave me out of it. I'm busy. I knew you wouldn't help me. I only asked because Millie insisted you come along. Millie? Are we investigating old wives' tales now? It's getting late, doll. Shouldn't you be in bed? <laughs> Mr. Bear is like a proper OG slick detective secret agent man who drinks whiskey and speaks in a low voice and this is epic. I love this game. Okay, okay, so what do I say? That's none of your business. I was already in bed. You're making too much noise. My birthday is coming up. You know what? We're going to play on his good side because I think Mr. Bear 
he's a good man, you know? And I think he just puts up this front to try and be like cool. So we're gonna we're gonna play on his we're gonna play on his affections and we're gonna say my birthday's coming up. My birthday is coming up soon, and I thought I'd extend an invitation. Your birthday was six months ago. Damn, he's found us out. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm planning some big things for my next one. I thought I'd start preparing early. Good thinking. You don't want to repeat that fiasco from two years ago. Yeah, that was really bad. Who knew Salmonella was still a thing? I know, right? Anyway, I'll tell my secretary to get you something nice. You don't have a secretary. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> If you don't mind, babe, I'm pretty busy here, so... Oh my god, you're still mad at me? After all this time? I really need your help, and I kind of promised Millie I would ask you to come along. Mad? Why would I be mad? I was almost thrown into a wood chipper thanks to you. Oh no. I was lucky. One of the guys we investigated is in my bird-watching, uh, poker and cigar club. And where were you? You ran off. I was following a lead. Um, somewhere else. Yeah? What'd you found out? Not much. Not a goddamn thing. Listen, doll, I've got a nice little setup here. Lately, I've been doing some tailing work for jealous husbands down in the city. Bunch of nervous train wrecks, but the money is good. I grew tired of pulling bloated toys out of Dredge River. Our days of crime fighting are over. That whole thing, it's behind us. It belongs in the past. Capiche? You've been practicing this speech, haven't you? A little bit. How was it? It was okay. The part about the bodies was a bit much. I threw that in for dramatic effect. It wasn't in the original draft, though. No, no, it was good. It gets the point across. Does it really? You're still here, and I still have a lot of work to do. Interesting. Okay, so this is kind of like the situation that we were told about in that little cartoon strip thing where he's just playing hard to get. So do we really have to do this again? You owe me rent because he's living in our closet, don't forget. Or I guess I'll just go alone. Oh, we could play on his, his guilt now by saying, because he's not going to want us to go alone. He secretly loves doing detective work with us. So we're going to go for this one. Okay, so you've made your point. I guess I'll just go alone into the night. Hope no one stabs me in the back. Fine. I guess if I come along, they're going to stab me instead. What's this nonsense all about anyways? So, according to Millie, a lot of things are happening down in Paper City lately. What things? Like all sorts of bad things. And there's this guy that's responsible. According to Millie. The mayor has issued a citywide lockdown. No one is allowed to leave or enter the city limits until all of this is sorted out. They've managed to escape through the East Tunnel maintenance route, but I think that's been closed off too. They? Hmm, okay, okay. Millie and the Paper City Orchestra, Millie and the Paper City's Paper Mache Association, Millie and the Wine Cheese of the Month Club, Millie and the Bird Watchers of the World, or Millie and the Paper City Cantaloupe Enthusiasts. <laughs> um. Um, uh, cantaloupe melons, yes. Um, yeah, Millie and the Paper City Cantaloupe Enthusiasts, they all need a place to eat their cantaloupes and such. Well, they are delicious. Rich in vitamin C and A, you know. But a club for eating cantaloupes? Wait, are you making this up? No! Yeah, sorry. Oh. <laughs> the Mugshot Boys helped her out. I know how much you don't like them. I mean, what's not to like? fact that they're thieves and thugs, they literally stole a candy from a baby once. But wasn't that baby an undercover cop? Well, yeah, it was. But they didn't know that. Now, did they? Anyways, they helped her escape the city through the East Tunnel, the one that leads to Flint's room, and she said he wasn't there. She believes he's gone missing. I need to go and check on Flint. Maybe he's still in the house, but Millie doesn't want me to go alone. She says it's possible for the Red Man to have found an exit to my house. She's really scared. Wait, what Red Man? She was telling me about this man, dressed completely in red. He came down to Paper City recently and was asking questions about me. He's asking questions about you? What's so interesting about you? Hey, I'll have you know there are a lot of people out there who find me interesting. Millie is really scared of this man. I can't leave anything to chance. Will you help me out? Whoa there, sugar cup. Even if I come along, and I'm still thinking that one over. 
I'm afraid a crucial component that'll help in our future investigation is missing. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, so something's missing. Your hat, your nose, your left shoe, or my brother? Uh, my brother. My brother? No. Well, yeah, but something else, too. Your magnifier? That's right, doll face. Now be a good assistant and go find it for me. I'm sorry, your assistant? <laughs> you know what I mean. Now get cracking. Okay, so, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. did we find it already? Broken magnifier. Okay, so we can't give him that. So that that doesn't work, does it? Do we, how do we, how do we do this? Can we, can we do it like that? Amber stuff. Okay, so what we need to do, I think we need to leave uh, and then try and fix the magnifier. So, okay, okay, we need to find the glass in it. Uh, what's in here? Should I we look into some rooms? I got this for Flint with my own money. It's some guardian superhero dude. Very bleak and depressing story arc. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, what's in the sneakers? I really feel like I don't own enough shoes. And no, it's not a stereotype. It's just a fact. Okay, uh, any clothes? These are my clothes. The colors are more on the bright side, but I can't help it. I love vivid colors. Okay, record player? Oh no, I wanted the music. The music was good. <laughs> I put the music back on. Yeah, okay, okay. So we need to try and find a way of... Can we exit? Okay, let's go back out of Amber's room. So Mr. Bear wants us to try and fix his magnifying glass. Um, so what can we do here? What's in the case? Let's go and check out the case. We need some glass or something, I think. Anything in here? Uh, let's... Ooh, battery? Let's go and take the battery. Nice. I'll okay, cool. I'll just pick this up. You never know when it might come in handy. Yeah, very true. Very true. Okay, so we've done that. There's a pillow here. Can we have a sleep? So fluffy <laughs> and comfortable. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, okay. Can we, can, we, can we look in the bed? It's my bed. It comes with all the luxuries a bed should have. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. So, uh, we've got a battery, a broken magnifier, and a Swiss army knife. So, what's Come the... Come on. Ah, so we can actually, like, combine items. I can't items. use that. Nice. Okay, I know what we're doing now. Right, so, uh, should we exit the room and maybe go and look somewhere else? Actually... I just can't seem to find any time in my busy schedule to unpack properly. All right, let's go and see if there's anything else yes, that we've yes, missed. Yes, drawers. What will they think of next? Uh, I don't think there's anything in here. You know what? Let's go to the hallway and let's go and check in a different room. Miss, don't go wandering around alone. Okay, well, that's that then. <laughs> so something that we need must Since be here. Since I'm paying for the view, I might as well enjoy it. Yeah, okay, so, hmm. There must be something we can do in here. A miracle of modern technology. That we're missing? Um, all right, let me go and click on some My stuff. My collection of paintings. Here we see a lamp in uh -oh. its natural habitat. Uh oh. It's leaning forward, ready to leap with remarkable precision. It's a, a fancy truly lamp, lads. fascinating predator of the wild office. It's a fancy lamp, lads. Oh, why did I not see this before? <laughs> why? It's a, it, the, the bear's got a fancy lamp on his desk. Ted, what are you doing? <laughs> Found my magnifier yet. Oh, nope, no. Nope, not yet. Do you really need my help? Okay, fair enough. Okay, I, I've got, I've got, oh, Ted. Oh my goodness, all right, nope. let's see what's in the filing cabinet. So what I did is I actually picked up some glue from uh, the magnifier, so can I use the glue on there the- There we go. Oh, there we go. Now I just need a lens. Okay, cool, so I've used the glue on the broken magnifying glass. Now all I need to do is find something that can be used as a lens. Um, bottle? Left there for research purposes. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe he's got a lamp on his thing. It makes this place look like a proper office. I know, I know. Critique, crime. So everything seems to be connected to that Chinese takeout menu. Hmm, so if it's something that I can use, it's bound to be on here somewhere. He's got a cup. It says FBI on it. I bet it stands for Federal Bear Investigation. Nice, the Federal Bear Investigation, lads. Okay, um, so we've got sneakers. What about this mask? It's my field hockey mask. My friend Jason wants to borrow it. As far as I'm concerned, he can have it. What's the worst that can happen? That's true, that's true. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything here. I'm seeing boxes. I mean, normally if you can pick something up, it puts like the little hand thing next to it. So I'm looking for something that's glass, something that I can use as a lens. I'm not seeing anything in the office. The thing is, I didn't see anything in the other place as well. Um, can we use the fan? I don't know what that did. Okay, window? Well, since this office is in my closet, that window there is for purely decorative purposes. Where's the... Okay, the lamp? The light is off. 
I bet someone wasn't paying his electric bills. <laughs> okay, okay. So it's not in here. Hmm, I need to find this lens. That's really tricky. I'm looking. I'm not seeing. I can't leave the room. Millie won't let us leave the room. So it must be somewhere in this room. You'd think, right? Last night's supper. Anything Corn in flakes. there? They've gotten cold and mushy and gross. Ew. Oh, look, 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 I found some glasses. I found some glasses. Hey, this could be good. This could be good. Can I take those? I don't really need glasses, but maybe they'll come in handy. Better take them with me just in case. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what we can do is we can combine the glasses with the magnifying glass. Come on. No? Could buy the glasses with... Come on. No? How do we... What about the Swiss Army knife? To pop I broke up? my yes. mom's glasses. I better find use for this lens now. Ah, okay, now it all makes sense. So we can do the lens with the broken magnifier, which already has the glue on it. Voila, a perfect crime. Ted will never know. Yeah. <laughs> all right, okay, let's go and give this bad boy to Ted. Oh, he's going to be so pleased with us because I don't know if he fully trusts us just yet. I'm not too sure. He's a very, very slick looking bear. Okay, okay, so Ted, give you the magnifying glass. Can oh, I talk to you? Magnifier, yeah. Yes, I have. Nope, not yet. Do you really need it, though? I have. Do you really need it? Okay, fair enough. Oh, okay, maybe I need to, like, give it to you. Hang on. Hang on. Bear? Bear? Take the magnifying glass. Yes, use the magnifier on Ted. That's not my magnifier. What? What do you mean? It's a magnifier. It magnifies and everything? No, this is my magnifier, with the lens missing, which I'm sure you broke recently. <laughs> You've replaced the lens with your mom's glasses and glued them together with kids' glue. Oh. That's preposterous. Never have I ever. Okay, never mind. This will do, I guess. Let's head out. He likes it. Yeah! Woohoo! Come on, buddy, Mr. Bear. Let's go, dude. Let's go, buddy. Let's go out. Let's go and solve some crimes. This is epic. This is so cool. All right, so... <laughs> he's so little. <laughs> okay, can we go to the hallway now? Can we leave now that we've got the bear with us? Let's head out. Watch my back, Ted. Yeah, we can go to the new area. This is so exciting. Oh, I love this game. I really hope you guys are going to enjoy watching this because I'd love to play this through.